Hey guys, Elvis Earlier here, back again with uh, Hands Up Studios and Chisel Coasters. And that Boardwalk Bullet, oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe we're here. Oh, this thing looks so good. Just check the weather radar and it looks like there's a little bit of rain just around the corner here. So we're pretty lucky that it's not raining here. Boardwalk Bullet, of course, was built in uh, 2007 by Martin and Flemix. Had a lot of issues making it through the layout during early testing. I remember seeing videos of it like actually valleying. So it's cool that they were able to get it working and it's apparently a really good ride. I've never heard anything bad about it. I love wooden coasters. So hopefully it's open. What parking costs nine dollars, I believe. Something like that. Yep. And then you come in here and the first ride you see is Iron Eagle. It's a Soren Eagle zip line made by SNS or actually not made by SNS, it's made by Stan Chekitz's company after SNS. There we go. That's one of those um, ARM slash Larson drop towers where you can't see the top of the tower and they just drop you. It's so cool. We just came from Galveston to ride um, the Iron Shark and it was like 10 or 15 degrees warmer there because it didn't rain. It was like just really humid. And here it's not humid at all because I think it just got done raining. Way off there in the back, you can see it looks like a waltzer style ride. And this is snack cart, Larson Looper, Larson drop tower. Uh, one of these aviator things, I don't know who makes that. You can like kind of make your car go up and back and stuff, it's kind of cool. And then it looks like there's a seafood restaurant, a steakhouse, and a couple shops over here, over by uh, Boardwalk Bullet. And I don't know, we're gonna probably walk around to the other side and check out like the Boardwalk and everything, see what type of attractions and stuff they have there. Looks like there's a chain across the entrance to Boardwalk Bullet though. We just spoke with a guy operating the game back over here and he said that it's most likely not gonna operate because of the rain. That's really, really, really disappointing. He said it hasn't rained at all today. Man. This is, have you ever ridden this one? No. It's not bad, I mean, it's not a huge it's it's nice. Oh, they're ridiculous. Yeah. It's probably the Oh, we just asked a ride supervisor who was putting up the uh, the ride availability sign over there, and uh, he said that it's down for weather and uh, that it may reopen. So we'll have to see walking past all the different attractions in here. It's not a big park at all. <laughs> There's only maybe about 10 rides or so in total. Oh, that's cool. That that one attraction here. This is actually an observation tower. That's that's kind of cool. Flare. Looks like they have a water park and an aquarium and as well. No, okay, never mind. So there's the aquarium and Galveston Pleasure Pier. You can actually get a, uh, a combo pass. It's not a bad deal. Uh, 50 bucks and you can ride Iron Shark and uh, this thing as much as you want. If it's open, of course. Nice Egyptian themed pirate ship here. It's pretty cool. Kids Ferris wheel. It's an observation thing. It doesn't look open. Or nobody's riding it anyway. And there's a rockin' tug over here. It's called the Rockin' Rocket. It's a cool name. Find that, you got a seafood house. And that's it. Right here at a dead end. You can see the boardwalk right outside and then the train tracks permit of the park. You can see all the dark clouds surrounding us following the boardwalk all the way around to the back. There's a tunnel through the seafood restaurant for the train ride and then it looks like they store the trains over back over here. It's pretty cool. And this, this is really cool. That looks amazing. This ride looks absolutely amazing. From right where I'm standing, I can actually see a maintenance guy inside the station. So that's a good sign. Oh, I just heard a compressor. This is a, this is a good sign. 
please send a train. Oh, what's that? I'm getting too excited here, guys. I'm so sorry. I, I actually don't know if they're going to open this thing or not. I hear noises and I see people, but that does not mean... That does not mean it's going to open. There's people in the station. They, oh, really? They're going to they're gonna try to open it? Oh, okay. All right, that's good. That's exciting. I, I looked and I saw up in the station. All right, we're going to hang out here for a little while. And we're, this is like the main entrance. We're going to walk in through here. We, we haven't seen any of this area yet. Let's walk over here and check that out. Then we can walk along the boardwalk and, and see what it's like in this area. I can actually see the little wheel at the top of boardwalk. Oh, wait a second. There it goes. It's testing. Oh. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Let's head over back over that way now. Real quick, down on this end, there's an aquarium. There's a couple of different uh, places to eat. Oh, wow, this is really nice. Tons of little shops to go inside over here. You can eat outside if you want. You can walk along the boardwalk. And we're just gonna go back the way we came because we're gonna beeline over toward Boardwalk Bullet since we've seen it operating. Well, I'm happy to announce that it looks like Bullet's gonna open after all. We're gonna get in line now and get our rider spans. We can ride as much as we want. Looks like a few people have hung out over here by the entrance to wait. And we're gonna join them. Should be opening pretty soon. They just sent another test train. We just got off a of boardwalk bullet for the first ever ride of the day. It was great. We rode in the very front row and we were getting pushed up into all the airtime hills. And it was really good, like amazing. It's, a, it's, it's really cool how much they crammed into this tiny little plot of land. If you look behind me, there's like two sets of tracks. There's up there and it goes up top here. It literally only takes up an acre of space. That's how big this coaster is. It's got over 3,000 feet of track and an acre. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Like what? Boat ride takes up that little amount of space with this much packed into it. This thing's a, a full package, amazing all around ride. And I've only been on it one time in the front. Let's see how it is in the back. Let's go around for another go now.
We all just got off four dog bullet for the first time. What would you guys think? That was amazing. Yeah, I love that. Dog. Wow. Yeah, this thing is fantastic. I can't believe how much they pack into such a small plot of land. I can't believe it. We're, we're actually able to get on this thing. I'm super, super happy. And I can't believe how good it actually is. I've always, I've always heard people hyped up about this ride saying how good it is. And it, it really delivers. This thing's fantastic. This is definitely the best Martin and Vlemix coaster I've ever been on. It runs a PTC two bench trains with ratcheting lap bars. So it's the usual. And the operations are nothing to scream about. They're pretty annoying, actually. It takes like four or five minutes to send out a train. That's okay, though. We had a great time riding that just now in the front. Let's go check it out in the back, because that's where they just rode, and they were blown away. I'm excited to see what this is like in uh, all types of different rows. Let's get the uh, whole boardwalk bullet excursion. We're going we're gonna to ride this thing out. Let's go. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and keep your hands and feet inside the car at all times. Thanks, and enjoy your ride aboard the coolest coaster on the coast. right now in the back. long awesome ride I'm like dizzy holy crap <laughs> wow we just got a boardwalk bullet in the back row that was awesome you got whipped down the drop and like the whole ride it just feels out of control it's really good and not even that rough it's just enjoyable a lot of fun I cannot believe how good this ride is we're gonna go around to think a few more times hopefully and uh, get some more rides in different rooms hey here we go we're going back in line for boardwalk bullet again I feel a couple of raindrops though, so I'm hoping that we don't get rained out. I wanna at least get on this a couple more times before we leave. It's not very often that a lot of people buy tickets for rides at, at boardwalk parks. Like this thing actually has like a five minute wait or so. It's got like all the air gates look like they're full. Uh, so uh, we're just gonna grab any empty road toward the front this time, I think, not have to wait because it's only running one train. Yeah, the operations are not very good. But man, I'm not complaining. This thing is one powerhouse of a ride. I can't believe that this thing exists just like at a random boardwalk park. There's no other operating coasters here, and there never have been. They just keep this crazy wooden coaster operating. It's awesome. Right. Keep it coming. That'd be good. Yeah, we got a full train. It's faster that way. Got a full car, got a full car baby. Yeah. And though you got the pedal really fast, baby. Come on, get our pedal going.
amazing. Oh yeah. And we rode it toward the front this time. I rode it in row two and then they rode it in row three. I think it's better in the front. I think it I think it pops up into the airtime. You get way much way more airtime in the front. The back the drop is really good though. Like you get really whipped down the drop and I'm sure it's really good when it when it warms up, like even more so. Yeah, this thing is fantastic. They they don't build wooden coasters like this one. Like this is this is unbelievable. And it's got extra reinforced wood too, so it could survive hurricanes and stuff. So this thing is amazing. What a, what a ride. We asked the operators um, if they run it in the rain, and they said, yeah, as long as it's not too heavy. So, um... faster wow wow that's so good <laughs> matt and chaz are up there waiting for the very front row i just got off of row three. Oh man this thing is definitely warming up it's amazing we still on ride photos so i may end up purchasing one because this is definitely a top 10 wooden coaster for me for sure maybe like top five even also they don't have t-shirts I, I asked them over here at the photo place and they're like yeah i don't think we sell t-shirts but I can check one of the gift shops they uh, recommended for me. I think we should ride it again toward the back this time. It's actually raining out this time. I don't know, this, this may be it. Oh, he just got a boardwalk bullet in the second row. That was so good. Uh, Matt and Charles are riding right, right in front of me, actually. And uh, yeah, they like it better in the front. I agree with them. I think it's a way better ride toward the front. The only thing that's better is the drop, which is better in the back. Yeah, this thing is a gene. It's just amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go. We're going to ride in the back back. Let's go. Oh, yeah. It's starting to rain. <laughs> A little harder than before. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Oh crap.
so good. Man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the ride's really good. Jeez. Rain rides. Going even faster. Wow. Oh, it's so good. It's a water ride. And here we go again. We're gonna ride it one, one more time, I think. Uh, I just bought my on ride photo, and uh, it's actually really funny. My face is just like, ah, because it's raining at it. It, is, it just looks so intense. This ride's incredible. Um, I wish we could ride it more, and I wish we could spend more time here. But it's, uh, it's, it is what it is. Oh. Yeah, I'm just really glad that we were able to get on this thing as many times as we were. I think we got on it like six or seven times. How many times did you guys ride this? Like, yeah, so I got, I think six or seven maybe, I don't know. So uh, yeah, very successful. Definitely worth the money too for a wristband. They only charge like $30 for the wristband. That's not bad. Flying. Here we are, last ride on Boardwalk Bullet. Oh God. I love this ride so much, man. I wish we could ride it more, but we gotta get going. Oh, that was really good. Oh, we just got off a of Boardwalk Villa for the last time of this trip. Oh my God. I can't believe we have to leave that thing. I'm sad. That, that thing is definitely a top, I think three wooden coaster for me. I personally prefer it to, you know, Ghost Rider, Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, I don't think I like it better than El Toro, but I'm probably like it better than, yeah, I, it's, it's really good. Not even gonna compare it. It's just amazing. It is a very unique ride too. You know, you don't see many wooden coasters in such a compact space with that much track. It, it really does pack such a punch into such a small little plot of land. It's really good. You guys uh, enjoy your rides? Oh, I love them. Love them. Yeah, that thing's great. Easily a root top five wooden. Easily. Yeah. Well, we're gonna call it a day here. We didn't ride anything except for the roller coaster, but yeah, go figure, right? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching though, and we'll see you at the next park. Peace out.
with Windows 11, I'm not hunting for shit.